Hey student, so today we are going to talk about Unit 5 under the title Is There, is, is there Anything On? It's about what is on the TV. Um, so whether you would like to watch documentary, uh, movies, um, um, news or whatever, or even a sport. But it's more emphasized on watching movies and the type of movies and all this stuff. So. Uh, movies, uh, when you would like to spend a good time, your first choice is going to be uh, watching a movie. Am I right? Uh, so whatever type of category you like in movie, romance, war, action, horror, uh, comedy, or even whatever type of, uh, of, I mean, whether you would like to spend uh, watching movie with your friend, with your family, or by yourself, it's still enjoyable even if you watch it on TV or watch it on your laptop or even on your phone it is still the best activity we do in order to have a good time it's not only enjoyable but it's also useful it helps you to live another person's life to have experience from other people's stories and uh, it shifts you completely from where you are sitting to another world to another period of time even to another country so it is also enjoyable for me it is when any student asks me how I can develop my language my first tip for him or her is watch a lot of movies in the category that you like because if you watch in the category that you like it means that you are enjoying your time and also learning in the language in indirect way so the unit starts with a couple of a question, okay, a one question with three answers. Do you uh, watch a lot of TV? We have three answers. Not really, I only watch program I like. Second answer, I watch quite a lot of TV. And the third ex uh, answer, sorry, yes, I am really a uh, totally addict. I mean, I'm addicting watching a lot of TV. So. You first, you should uh, know what type of answers suit you. For me, I am a person who never watch TV, but I am always watching movies uh, in my laptop because um, this is the best. Uh, there is no um, advertisement on all this stuff because it really bothers me. So I prefer watching only on my laptop. So and then we shift for the second, uh, just simple exercise. He give you the types of movies, uh, comedy, romance, love story, action, horror, um, okay, um, science fiction, but the letters are mixed. يعني متكم ياهم أسماء الأنواع الكاتيجوريز مات الأفلام بس الأسماء ميكس أوكي سوري الحروف ميكس فأنتوا ترتبون الحروف مثل ما مسوي هو أول أي كوميدي شو نمرتبها فالبقية أنتوا هم مسوهم على نفس الكاتيجوري على مود it is enjoyable to know the categories of the movie in the same time to just test your spelling also, I give you a very, I mean, a note that um, um, mov movies or the Oscar, which is a reward given for the best movie ever in, in, I mean, in English. Also, there is Oscar is given for the foreign movies. I mean, movies with foreign language. So, um, uh, a couple of countries has won this is prize. Um, but my note for you is not only about the Oscar and that, that there is Oscar for the foreign uh, movies movie uh, sorry uh, foreign movies but my um, note is that um, I always uh, make you make difference between whether you would like to speak in a British accent or American accent and the difference in the vocabulary they use so in America they uh, they said I mean we hear the, the term that I go to the cinema or I would like to go to the cinema. So from the beginning they teach us that cinema is when I go to a place where I watch uh, movies. But this is mistaking. Cinema only in a British accent it means you are going to watch a movie in a place. But in American accent the majority of people use or say I go to movies or I go to movie theater. So from here, from this point, you should check what type of pronunciation you would like to continue speaking and in order to adapt the correct vocabulary for that accent you like to speak in. 
we have a third question, which is, do you prefer to watch mo films at the cinema or at home on DVD? I don't think that people are still watching on DVD, uh, am I right? Uh, on the cinema, or um, watching movie on cinema is not really available in Iraq. Uh, for me, I only watch three movies in, in on cinema in Baghdad. Mansur cinema is, the, is really good. I watch there are two movies and um, the third one is in another cinema but uh, even if the, the the place I mean this cinema uh, it's very expensive but uh, it is still I watch two movies and I pay almost twenty dollar so it's expensive but the place is really good and their movies is um, really limited um, but still uh, they are updated and really new uh, movies you can find there. Um, I have a note about it. Uh, yes, I am a really tele addict. Uh, the word addict is one of the vocabulary or terms that has been found by Shakespeare because you know Shakespeare has added to the language uh, about 200 or, or to 300 terms that still used nowadays. So addict is one of them and it is good f uh, if you I mean, learn this stuff because it represents um, that you have really aware of the, of the development and the touch that other people add to the language, especially people like Shakespeare. Okay, now we will listen to a um, voice record for an interview or a conversation between um, uh, Matthew, uh, who is a, a film critic. He's going to tell us his opinion about a um, certain movie. So I want you to pay attention because I added the script uh, of, the com uh, of the conversation um, as well as the voice uh, and their, their own voice. So I want you to pay attention and listen for that, uh, I mean, interview a couple of times in order to un quite understand what's going on, what they are speaking about because there's a couple of names so I don't, I, I don't want you to get I mean confused or anything listen to that um, voice with the secret a uh, couple of time in order to just exactly get the point because after that we have a, um, a number of questions about that interview good luck recording 34 and now it's time to go to Matthew Jenkins, our very own movie critic, for news of an exciting new film. Matthew. Thank you, Fiona. Yes, New Beginnings is a heartwarming tale set in 18th century England. It follows the life of Jane Martins, a maid in a large country house, who falls in love with a dashing Charles Danton, the son of a wealthy farmer. The story is gripping from beginning to end and is well acted throughout by Helen Richards and Peter Kite. Thanks to the sensitive direction of Kevin Hadley, the whole film blends together well, leading to a very surprising but utterly believable finale. This film should bring Hadley the recognition he has deserved for such a long time. Without doubt, it's the must-see movie of the year. Great for all the family. Five stars. So, Matthew, who is a movie critic, um, giving his opini opinion about a movie named The New Beginnings. You, um, you see the name of the movie is in Athletic, so you can recognize this title. Uh, because, obviously, the title of movies, um, books, it should be in Athletic in order to be recognized uh, by the reader. So, the movie is really, it is a love story about a girl named Jane Martins. Uh, the story is in uh, in the 18th century England. This is the setting of the of the event or the story. So um, Jane is fall in love with a person named Charlie, uh, or love story, guilt, um, written and acted by uh, it has been acted. I mean by Helen Richards and Peter Kent. The the name of the director is Kevin Hardley. Uh, Kevin Hardy is a really good actor, but he did not get the shot or the, um, the chance to represent himself and get the fame that he deserved. This is according to the Matthew opinion. Um, so, this movie um, was a hit on um, a lot of people um, enjoying seeing that movie and 
they are I mean in the cinema is crowded about seeing this movie so it is the best movie in the box office and it is really great for all the family so um, this is uh, good to mention that is good if uh, if a family would like to watch it it is good for them there is no um, something inappropriate uh, as far as language is concerned and scene is concerned and also the movie is a five star I mean it is um, uh, the evaluation of that movie is five star, not three, not two. It is a five. It means it is really, really good. So now, after you listen carefully for the uh, conversation or the interview, now you have two exercises to do in order to check your understanding. First thing, uh, there is a couple of names for the characters that has been mentioned in the conversation. You should. Um, tell which car uh, uh, what is the rule of each character uh, for example Jane Martin is a maid in a large country house uh, she is the um, the heroine of the movie and she is a girl uh, uh, who fall in love with Charles uh, the second he put the name of Charles so you should do the same you say something about Charles and you say something about Helen which is the actress and Peter who is performing the role of Charles and Kevin Hardley who is the director so from the conversation that you have already listened to um, just uh, see a simple thing about these uh, people and their role in the, in the movie the second exercise we have is look at the statement blue take true, false or don't know for each statement then listen again and check Okay, so here you should do this um, exercise uh, then in order to check your understand uh, your correct answer you should return and listen again to the uh, to the information or to the interview for example the first one the film takes place in the north of England uh, the answer we don't know uh, they only mention that the movie uh, take place in England without giving specific information where exactly in England the second point is it is based on a true story also we don't know they say only a love story but they did not give any information about that love story so third point both the main actors are very good um, yeah it's obviously they are really good because if they are not good so this not this movie will not be such um, a big deal and all the bo uh, people like it d the ending is rather weak no the ending is really good and because he said that the ending is unbelievably incredible so e uh, it is kevin hardly first film no it is not his first film because um the critics uh, the movie critics i mean matthew has mentioned that um, Kevin is really good because he has done some work uh, and he deserved this fame. It means that he has did a lot of good movies before. Finally, the movies is only suitable for adults. Um, no, it is uh, good to be uh, watched by the entire family because at the end of the interview he say the phrase um, and I quote is great for all the family it means is it is not it is suitable for all ages to be watched so now we will shift for uh, the next exercise so here in this exercise one he give you a couple of expressions and he would like you to put p for positive and n for negative uh, mean if the uh, if the expression is positive or negative Let's start with heartwarming, well acted, a lot of twizzled and turns, too long, a pity, burning, uh, very surprising, gripping, utterly believable, original, and finally predictable. So, مقابل كل expression تحطون P or N حسب إنه تشتع تبرون هذا المصطلح. Uh, بعدين نشوفون أكو مكعبات صغار. Okay, 
المكعبات هاي قص some of this expression has already been mentioned in the interview اللي already سمعتوها بالانترفيو تحطون قدامها صح يعني هو it is kind of comprehension for you um, comprehension test whether you are following the word that has been mentioned in the interview or not بعدين تشوفون هاي النوت بيبر اللي قدامكم uh, he asks you to think about uh, a film you like look at the questions below and make notes فالكل شخص every person has a favorite movie am I right so um, put um, your favorite movie in your head I can then try to answer this question so I will uh, try to do something like answering this question and I want you to do the same. Pay attention because this exercise, I want you to send it for me in a voice record uh, in the group. I will open the group for a couple of hours and I want you to answer this question in a voice record, uh, a record and send it in the group. So, let's start. Um, okay, since I'm watching a lot of movies, so I have a very uh, long, I mean, a long list of favorite movie. So uh, I will pick uh, one of them, not the top, because uh, um, at the top movie, the top song, a lot of is going in one way or another. Express a lot about who really, uh, who are you, your real identity, your life story. So I will pick just a random one of my favorite movie. So what is the plot? Okay, the plot is about a love story in England in the 14th century um, in which uh, the girl is from Scotland and the boy from England. At the time, uh, there was a king in England. Uh, he would like to make you, um, Britain or United... Uh, he would like to unite uh, the United Kingdom. At that time, there was just a group of tribes and they are fighting between e each other. So he tried to unite them, and his plan for unite them starts from the beginning of the movie until the end. Uh, second question is, who are the main characters? The main character is uh, King Mark, and um, uh, the hero of the movie is um, uh, Trayson, and the girl name is Islot. Uh, the second, uh, third question, what does it end? It ends in... Um, a tragic way because the couple have to sacrifice their love in order to unite the United Kingdom so but still it is, has a meaning it's not a random sacrifice which reach for nothing no they sacrifice in order to unite the uh, and make England such a great country now we have it so uh, the question the third question who was uh, it directed by? I am not a person who likes to follow up who is the director. So I don't know who is the director. Can you remember any of the actors? Yeah, the actor, the, the actors, I don't know her name, but the actors is um, James Franco. Is it well acted? Yeah, it is really well acted. Even the actors, the majority of the actors were uh, very young and they're, uh, but still, all in all, the acting is really, really great. Uh, were there any spe uh, special effects? Yeah, there is a lot of speci spe uh, specific or special effects. Because in order to put you in the uh, area of England in 14th century, he had to do a lot of effects. The decoration, the clothes is amazing. It make you feel that you are really living that period of time. And you are just, um, I mean, it was amazing. So, um, do you like the sound uh, soundtracks? Yeah, soundtrack is really important and it was really affected. In order, uh, you know, uh, because you know that there is war and there is all this stuff fighting. So the sound effect is really important at that point. Um, so and the actor or the responsible of the sound effect has did a great job. Why did you like this film? Um, and uh, maybe because it is about the most uh, important things in life, which is uh, love and uh, country and sacrifice. Um, uh, 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 he loved his country and he loved this girl, and in the same time, uh, he wants his kingdom to be united. 
uh, and sacrifice, he have to sacrifice one of them because uh, we all in our life we sacrifice for uh, sacrifice thing in, in our life. Sometimes some people we sacrifice for them our time, our health, our um, emotion, or even um, so. When you sacrifice for any case for any person, for uh, you should that thing should be have the value uh, to um, or deserve that sacrifice from us. And so, in concluding, that movie was amazing for me. Now I want you to do the same. Make a voice record about all this is not on your favorite movie. And as I mentioned already, send it on the group. So now I will listen for a second voice record uh, with the native speakers from different countries, or not native. Uh, some of them, uh, I mean, Australian, American, British, so they are native speakers. Some of them know they are foreigners who speak English, just like Russian, Germany, and Spanish. Uh, so you find there is certain accent is weird or strange. So listen for that uh, 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 voice um, in the in the next slide a couple of times in order to understand. And also I added the script for what they are saying in order to make you understand things um, in a better way. Then we have, uh, you have a exercise. I want you to do it. Recording 35. One. It really makes me laugh. I think the characters is so funny and the animation is great too. It's a classic. Two. It's the only chance I get to find out what's been going on in the world and catch up with current affairs. 3. It's about all I watch on TV these days, actually. I mean, if it wouldn't be for the football and the tennis, I don't think I'd have a TV at all. 4. Oh, I love it! I don't think I've missed a single episode. I try to guess who the murderer is at the beginning, and I'm so good at it now, I'm almost always right. 5. I love trying to guess all the answers. It's good when people win a lot of money too. I like that. 6. I don't know how they do it, but they always manage to capture the animals behaving really naturally, and it's just like you're there yourself. So now we will listen for the third um, a voice record uh, of native speakers, or also people from China, Egypt, India, and Brazil. So are, there are none of them is native speaker. All of them are learner of English as a second language. So listen for that voice record in which there is people saying their opinion about the movies. Uh, how you, uh, which which learn you or teach you how to use certain vocabulary to describe something uh, or a movie as a good or bad it give you a certain expression to help you to speak uh, fluently about this is matter of movies and how you why you like that movie and why not and also there is exercise uh, which is uh, for each person a b c d and e when they speak I want you to write b if the if the sentence they are say uh, the, the mention is a positive one and N if the sentence they mention is a negative one. For example, the first person who say, yeah, I don't use to like when um, to like it when it first started, but now I am ready, uh, really into it. Really into it means he's, he has a very positive opinion about the movie. So it is uh, B. Uh, so do listen um, for this uh, next slide a couple of time and then do the exercise by putting B and N positive or negative. Recording 36 A. Yeah, I didn't used to like it when it first started, but now I'm really into it. B. No, I'm not very keen on it really. C. It's very well written and everything. The acting is totally convincing. D. The plot is so ridiculous that I can't watch it. E. Some of the jokes fall flat, but most are pretty funny.
Finally, thank you for listening and I really enjoyed this lecture. So I hope you enjoy it um, and we will continue next lecture. Thank you very much.